For many years, Malawi has been growing rice in wetlands, especially in districts such as Karonga, Machinga, Palombe, and others. But due to the effects of climate change that has mainly brought dry spells in most parts of the country, it is clear that Malawi can no longer depend on rains to grow rice. The good news is that rice farmers in southern Malawi can grow rice in the upland fields with a new variety of rice called New Rice for Africa, Nerika 4. An agriculture research officer at Chitedze Research Station, Agripa Lucas, explains that the new variety produces about 4.5 tons per hectare. He says the beds cannot eat the new variety, as is the case with other rice varieties grown in the wetlands. As you can see, this one is uh, Nerika for New Rice for Africa. Nerika is an it's just like a, a word, it, uh, meaning new rice for Africa. It's a, it's a good variety. It's well-scented, as you can smell yourself. Uh, and this variety, the good advantage is that it can mature 90 to 100 days. Uh, farmers can plant this at uh, this time or that we are experiencing dry spells. Cholo and Mulanji districts are leading the pilot phase of growing Nerika 4 in the uplands. Village Heduman Pemba of traditional authority in Chilamwera in Cholo is one of the farmers in place with a new variety of rice. She says Nerika 4 is easy to care for while in the field, unlike other rice varieties. This rice will help us a lot, especially that we will harvest a little from our maize fields. Pemba is not the only farmer growing the new variety of rice. Another farmer, Batswen Malua, of Nkwaida village in the area of traditional Thorinkanda in Mulanje, says he is banking on his rice this year as the maize he grew is not promising. From Nerika 4, Malua is expecting to get 40 bags of rice, weighing 50 kilograms each. Nerika rice is very good as compared to the rice grown in wetlands. I'm encouraging farmers to try grow Nerika for. More farmers than ever before are willing to grow the rice they see around. Agriculture Extension Development Officer for Cholo Center EPA, Zone Kalipinde Nkwarangwa, says farmers have welcomed the Nerika 4 variety and there is an increase in the number of farmers willing to grow the crop. We make an awareness. We made an awareness, uh, awareness to these people, farmers, and they agreed that they can try to plant these crops like rice, upland rice, as you can see here, and they agreed to do so. We have a, a number of farmers who are doing this trial. In the fields that we visited, Nerika 4 rice is doing better as compared to the maize crop grown adjacent to the rice fields. This is despite that both crops are exposed to all factors necessary for planting growth, as well as being grown on the same type of soil. Extension Methodologies Officer for Mulanje District, James Richapa, says they are working on multiplying the variety so that a lot of farmers are able to access the crop to grow. For Mulanje then, it was like we are starting it as a new uh, project because people in Mulanje were not aware of the, these varieties. So from that time we started promoting the, uh, the, uh, this upland rice. We had the, a very huge demand, but the supply for seed was very because we are providing uh, seed to the farmers, but what they are producing was grain. So, uh, cultivating, I think, recycled uh, uh, seeds were not uh, that uh, good. The produce was not even good. So, we thought of uh, proposing the project to uh, NEDA that maybe we will venture to seed multiplication that maybe will help maybe to boost actually the production of this uh, type of rice. As we know, as we all know, that maybe we are. We are Uh, is 
doing very much better than the maize. That is just maybe adjacent uh, approach. Just because the rice can withstand the really harsh conditions. So, uh, as you can see, I think this type of uh, farming or this variety of uh, rice is very, very important. Nerika for variety is being grown across the country under Agriculture Productivity Program for Southern Africa. The challenge is that there is low adoption rate as farmers are not fully aware of the new development. It's only that uh, the adoption rate and, uh, right now is very low. It is because uh, farmers are not aware about the variety. Uh, that's why APSA is coming in, Agriculture Productivity Program for Southern Africa is coming in to create awareness to farmers. Figures from the Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Water Development indicates that Malawi produces about 360,000 tons of rice a year, but there is potential of producing 2.5 million tons a year. In August last year, Executive Director of the Mtari Manja Holdings Limited, David Kamchaja, said Malawi has the potential to earn 293 billion kwacha per year if it ramps up rice production since the commodity is on high demand on the international market. Reporting for Times News, I am Steve Chauruga.